Here is one week of working out. Tuesday starts off with a approach technique and over the bar technique day. Didn't do that. Didn't do that. Ego got the better of me. This is right after the Sunday where I was jumping really, really high. So I just wanted to hit some heights. After generally after you jump really, really well, you just you're just not as good, right? You you run it on dead legs. Didn't make good heights, but. I was hitting my approach with a lot of speed, so it wasn't a wasted day. And then we move into some depth jumps. It's from a 90 centimeter height, four times four of those. And right after the session, we go hit the gym. And it's just light, explosive work. And by light, I don't actually mean the actual weight, I mean the volume. So we just hit four times four hand cleans and really just want to work on the speed there. Thursday is sprint day. Really trying to work on improving speed for the run-up. So generally, short sprints, long breaks, really high intensity. <laughs> you can see I'm not very quick. It's probably my biggest flaw as a jumper. I can't bring a lot of speed in with my run-up, even though I'm a speed jumper. And uh, I give my partner two step, a two-step go on me. And I probably only catch up by one step. She's definitely a lot quicker than I am. We did some hurdle hops there for ground contact times, and then two times 50 meter because I wanted, I wanted to really get the legs spinning. Then straight after the session, hit the gym, four times for step ups, really working on just smashing the plate, pretending it's like a plant almost, you know. Next is RDLs, three times five, exploding on the concentric. And going slow on the eccentric for some injury prevention. And here's Kalen just showing me how it's done again. <laughs> and then Sunday is usually jump stay. So the intention is we get Friday, Saturday off except Friday. Friday is usually core work, a little bit of cross training or some arms but it's a low intensity day so we get two days pretty off. It's like a, almost a small taper and you just go into Sunday feeling a lot better than the rest of the week and you can generally approach some good heights. I go after 196 there. I don't actually make it that day. Last week I was jumping really well but uh, you know it was the end of the cycle so I was just feeling a bit dead. And then after the track session, heading straight to the gym, heading five sets of squats, and I was feeling really, really good. You know, usually, honestly, don't get much rest because it's right after a session. So the only good thing is that I'm warmed up. Maybe I could do more, you know, if I just hit the gym, but I actually hit a PR here anyway. Boom, three plate squat. Feels good, man. Then after that strength work is some ham uh, some back extensions. Three times eight. And then calf and tib raises. And I really like doing the, the calf raises. Kind of explosive and really, really heavy. And that's it. That's a week of training. Cheers.